gold medal coach and Minnesota legend is being celebrated and honored tonight in St. Paul. Herb Brooks is synonymous with hockey. Tonight his family is debuting a new statue in his honor. Mark Rosen is there right now and he joins us. Hi Rosie. Hey Amelia and Frank, I'm inside at Herbie's on the Park restaurant here in St. Paul. I had to go rummaging through my uh, 1980 memorabilia from being in Lake Placid. Found this wonderful scarf that's I, actually in better shape than most of the scarves I have. We're with uh, Danny Brooks, son of the legendary coach Herb Brooks. And Danny, this is a, another big night for the family. I think folks who have been familiar with the statue of your dad out here, seen it since what, 2004, but this is going to be a, a bigger version we're going to see at 6 o'clock? Correct. Bigger, I think uh, on top of the pedestal, it's going to be over 10 feet uh, tall. So, very excited. Yeah, it's very exciting. I think the, the original one came out, you were just telling me, when the movie Miracle, right before the mi movie Miracle came out in 2004. Correct. So, right about this time, 2004, we unveiled the old statue, and we had a bunch of buses out here and took everybody that was at the event to the Highland Theater and watched Miracle the day before it hit the theater. What would your dad think about all the fuss that people are making of him? I, obviously, we all knew him very well. You were his son. You knew him very well. He seemed to be a guy who was always about the game and hockey, not so much about himself. Uh, very, very true. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to our family. I, I could spend all day about this location, why it's special. You know, one point a lot of people don't know is the 80 Olympic team from August to February actually trained right here. Mm -hmm. They used the old Minnesota Fighting Saints locker room <laughs> and practiced at the old St. Paul Auditorium. Um, that and the fact that my grandfather worked about 45 years of, uh, of his career about a block away from here. Right. Um, yeah, he was all about growing the game. The old statue will go to the National Sports Center uh, up in Blaine. That's mm -hmm. something that my dad was very involved in, in building. Uh, it's the second most visited uh, spot in Minnesota, eight uh, hockey rinks. So um, obviously we're excited about the new statue, but also excited about the old statue being at the NSC. And a number of the 1980 Miracle on Ice team members will be here tonight as well, right? Eight of them will be here, and then Ryan Suter will be here to represent his, his father, Bob, who passed right. away a few years ago. So very, uh, very excited to see those guys. What a great night, and what a great night to way to celebrate your father's legacy, which continues on and on, because it never will end. Yeah, it's surprising. Uh, Surprising how he uh, inspires people and how that event is still so emotional. Yeah, well, it is. Believe me, it really is. Thanks, Danny. Yep, thanks, Mark. All right, back to you guys. We'll have the unveiling for you coming up at 6 o'clock here in St. Paul. We can't Wonderful. wait. Yeah, congratulations to Danny and the Brooks family. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.